Virgos, welcome everybody. I'm back y'all with another video. So let's talk Virgos. Let's see what messages we have for the Virgo. All right, if you are new to my channel, welcome, welcome, welcome. We would love to have you here. So go ahead and click the bell to subscribe because you're not going to want to miss out on future videos. All right, so as well, guys, if you like this video, if it resonates with you, go ahead and click the like button, all right? As well as comment below in the comment section. Share with your family and your friends, okay? So this is going to be a general read. It is going to be a love reading, but it is general, all right? So whatever messages pop out, that's what I'm going to read, okay? So um, with that being said, it may or may not resonate with you. If it does, be sure to hit the like button, all right? So, Virgos, let's talk. Virgos, let's see what messages we have for the month of May. What messages are there for the month of May for my Virgos? All right, so at the bottom of the deck, we got the Ten of Pentacles and the Ten of Wands. Two tens here and the Four of Swords. All right, so some of you may be feeling a little like you need a break, um, but I'm getting at the end of this break. Once you come out of this break, we got the Ten of Pentacles here. So something is going to be manifesting here, okay? So it looks like something long-term. Maybe you're putting a lot of work into something um, that's going to eventually lead to something long-term. All right, so we got the Three of Swords, the Magician, the Five of Wands, the Six of Cups, the Hangman, and the Ace of Wands, the Death Card, the Five of Pentacles, the Five of Cups, and the Nine of Pentacles. Yeah, see, I feel like there's something that you um, are possibly kind of like feeling like, oh, I need a little break. I may be feeling a little overwhelmed, but I feel like at the end of this, uh, there's something here that's worth having okay now let's see we got the first energy coming out as a three of swords tell me more about this three of swords here let's get straight into it let's get straight into it another three three of pentacles all right so we got the lovers and the two of cups and the queen of wands ten of cups queen of swords page of swords some of you could be dealing with the gemini or a a Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Okay, so all the signs are here. I'm getting, I'm getting that there is a connection that you have with someone. There's a lot of passion here, and I feel like you're happy. Okay, I'm getting that you're extremely happy here. But I'm also getting like, I'm getting with these threes here. Tell me more about this three of pentacles. Okay, so you're trying to find a way to make something work, okay? You're thinking of a way to make something work. I feel like you're trying to be, you want some type of success. We got the Empress and the Six of Wands, okay? So somebody could be getting chosen here. Somebody's getting crowned. Somebody's getting a title. Somebody's getting something here that is like a victory, okay? Now we got the Magician here. The Seven of Pentacles, the Seven of Cups, and the Temperance. Okay, so you're trying to balance out. You're trying to look at all the options here and make sure that you're making the right decision. I feel like you are taking your time doing this or working towards this. It could be a project of some sort. Um, I feel like you're trying to work all the details out. Like you're trying to have a balance here before you just take a, a risk, a leap of faith. I feel like you want to take your time. You want to take your time with this. All right. So the five of wands is here with the sun. Could be done with the Leo. Queen of Pentacles and the Ten of Wands and the Four of Swords. Yeah. Somebody is, you guys, I feel like you guys may be tired. I'm just getting like you guys could be tired. Okay, why is the sun here? The Knight of Cups. All right, so I feel like with the Five of Wands here, 
that could be a lot of people. Maybe there's this this feel of competitiveness um, of who's going to offer um, someone something uh, positive or something offer. If someone's bringing something to the table, somebody here maybe like a, competing with you. Queen of Wands, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. I see somebody spying here. It could be a Libra, but I'm getting a spy here. Okay, so somebody's wanting to see how somebody's living, see what's going on in somebody's home. Okay, with the Four of Wands here, we got the Strength card. It could be a Leo, Two of Swords, and the World, and the Ten of Swords. Somebody's saying that it's not over. Wow. So y'all may have some past energy that's trying to come in and saying that something's not over. Why is the Six of Cups here? Yeah, this leaves you kind of worried. Yeah, this this past situation is kind of making you feel a little, you know, a little worried. I feel like your antennas are up. You know that this person could be coming with something. Yeah, the Knight of Wands. You feel this person coming towards you. You feel it. You could tell. Yeah, but see... I feel like you're deciding that you aren't going to, uh, you're not going to speak on it, you know? If it comes, if this energy comes your way, that's when you'll handle it. Right now, you're not going to speak on it. Okay? See, in the past energy, see, we got you had you guys waiting to take action or waiting to see how the, this other person is going to take action. We got... Um, Gemini's energy here, the lovers and the queen of swords, definitely Gemini with the lovers here or an Aquarius or Libra, but I'm getting that something is over. Ten of swords and the world, something is done with over, okay, something is done. Now, we got that ace of wands here in the future, all right, I'm getting a new beginning and a closing of a chapter, okay? So, you just closed this chapter from the past. I don't feel like this past person is really going to be happy about this, but I get, I'm getting like you're starting a new chapter, okay? You're starting a new chapter. I feel like it's on your mind, though. You're thinking about it a lot. Okay, you're thinking about not so much of this person, but how this person or, or what's next or what, what they're going to come with now, you know, for attention. This person is coming for attention. Okay, why is the four of pentacles here? Why is feel like you're not going to back down from this person. I feel like you're going to speak their truth to this person that, hey, this is over with. Ten of Swords. Um, somebody's still stuck in love here. The Eight of Swords and the Lovers and the Queen of Swords and the King of Pentacles. Somebody here is still stuck in love, but I feel like you've closed that chapter and you're starting a fresh new beginning, okay? Five, five, five. Some of you guys just went through some changes and I feel like you're moving on to better things. Like you found something new. Now this person over here feels rejected and used. The devil and the five of pentacles. Like they can't believe that you chose someone else. The queen of pentacles and the two of cups. I mean the two of pentacles. And they feel like, hey, I've been riding with you. And you chose somebody else over me. Um, they're spying on you. They're going to be spying on your relationship, seeing how you react to certain things, um, waiting to see if it's going to be a burden to you. Now, the five of cups here and your hopes and fears, I feel like you, re you fear uh, that you're going to regret this decision. I feel like you, you think about this at night. You think about this. Um, and the thing about it is if you think about this too much, if you overly think about this situation, this situation could, you know, if you're not thinking about it in a positive manner, it can manifest exactly the way that you're thinking it. So if you're overthinking, thinking about, you know, look, I don't know if I'm going to regret this, then 9 times 10, a situation could occur where you feel regretful. 
Okay, so just keep that in mind. Yeah, see, you feel like it, you feel like it, maybe you took a, too big of a risk. Um, but I feel like this was something that you've been waiting to do. We got the King of Cups and the Ten of Cups. Like, I feel like emotional, wherever you are, you're emotionally satisfied. Um, and you just saw a chance and you took it. But you fear that maybe, you know, later on down the line, are you going to regret this decision? Was it too big of a risk? But I've got you guys as the Nine of Pentacles as your outcome and the Page of Cups. Why is the Page of Cups here? Six of Pentacles and the Queen of Swords. Yeah, see, I feel like the truth is getting ready to be revealed to somebody from the past, okay? Like, I, I just keep getting like you're thinking about this a lot at night. Maybe you have some type of dream um, about something. Someone here could definitely be pregnant here with the Empress and the Star. We got the Lovers, Eight of Swords. Somebody is like still stuck in love um, and still wanting to be together, still dreaming of being together. And I feel like you're going to go ahead and tell this person the truth. You're going to go ahead and give this person the truth. Yeah, King of Pentacles. Yeah, that you found someone. You found stability. You found balance. You found peace. Okay, and your decision to leave is what stands. Okay, and you're standing on that. You're standing on that. You are standing on that decision. All right, so that's the message that I got for my Virgos. Y'all let me know what's going on in the comment section below. And I'm going to chat with you guys later. Ciao.